So one of the recruiting battles that the eyes of the college football world have been following closely is the battle for Arch Manning. And today, we need to break down where it stands because as Arch Manning has officially scheduled three visits to Georgia, Alabama, and Texas, there's been an interesting development that could shake up the entire battle, and we need to talk about it. Before we do, as always, yawn of the drill, I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes and for no. Are you excited to see where Arch Manning chooses to play his college football, and let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, like and comment down below, because those interactions are massive. But having said all that, let's jump right into this, because Arch Arch Manning is a prospect that the eyes of the college football world have been following for a while now, and they are very excited to see where he ultimately makes his collegiate decision. And thus far, we know of three visits Arch Manning will be taking. To the University of Georgia, to Alabama, and to the Texas Longhorns. And there's something each university has to offer that we're going to break down, but also an interesting development that has occurred within the past week, as one of those institutions has landed a top signal caller themselves, and we Need to break down how that affects everything but we can start at where the first visit will be held and that's the Georgia Bulldogs because Georgia is going to have a lot that they're going to try and pitch off of coming off of a national championship that's absolutely going to be a pitch they make stating hey not only can we surround you with a bunch of talent which we're going to break that down we now can proudly say you can win a ring here because before a lot of teams are pitching off of that Fewer teams have been able to do it. Well, we just watched them do it, so now that pitch becomes a reality. The other thing Georgia can offer is something I already talked about, being able to surround Arch Manning with talented pieces, and I don't simply mean just on offense. They can also put together a ferocious defense that Arch Manning and people around Arch Manning can have faith in, that even if the offense isn't clicking, that defense isn't going to let them down, and that right there affords a quarterback a little bit more leeway than if everything is on them and they have to make sure everything happens perfectly or else they're not going to win the game. So because of that, Georgia is a team we have got to watch. Look, they recruit at such a high level. We know that. And I don't think anybody would be super shocked to see a five-star quarterback end up with the Georgia Bulldogs, especially coming off of a national championship and especially with how they can surround that quarterback with talent. But that doesn't also mean that the other teams in this battle don't have something to offer. And the next place Arch Manning will be stopping is the University of Alabama even though Alabama just picked up a commitment from a top 100 player in all of high school football and a top 10 signal caller, Eli Holstein, out of Louisiana. And the coaching staff for the Crimson Tide is very high on Holstein's capabilities. Remember, this is someone who, when he just camped, just put together the highest score for a quarterback that they had ever recorded during that camp process. So that's something that is very exciting for the Crimson Tide fan base, even though that doesn't guarantee him a successful transition from high school to college it just adds a certain level of intrigue that's sure to get people excited but what does that mean for the dynamic of arch manning you have texas georgia and alabama that have been widely considered the three teams to watch in this battle and now one of those teams gets a quarterback well, interestingly enough, Arch Manning is still planning on taking that official visit to Alabama, or at least at the time of filming this video, he's still taking that official visit to Alabama, because not too long ago, Richard Young, the five-star running back, tweeted out that he was looking forward to seeing Arch Manning on their visit together to the Crimson Tide. So, the Crimson Tide are still in this race, but I think it would be incredibly unlikely for them to end up with two quarterbacks in this class. Not to say that it hasn't been done before. It absolutely has been done before, but the stakes are a little bit higher whenever you're talking about the number one player in the cycle, a five-star quarterback and the number one quarterback in the nation coming into a class that also contains a fringe five-star. The dynamics to that are a little bit different, and because of that, I would be really, really, really shocked if Arch Manning was to choose Alabama, but at the same time, Alabama has a quarterback that they have faith in, and they were able to get him committed before the summer happened so that he can go and recruit for the Tide. That's something Alabama faithful have got to feel very excited about, and it just certainly adds not only a certain level of intrigue to Alabama's recruiting class going into the summer, but it adds a certain level of intrigue to the Arch Manning saga as a whole. But now let's talk about where a lot of people feel is the favorite, and that's the Texas Longhorns, where Arch Manning will be taking his third official visit to. 
And the Texas Longhorns have an interesting pitch. They can point to Steve Sarkeesian and say, look, his quarterbacks have put up big numbers. And last season, even though we didn't put together the win-losses that we would like to, our offense was still dangerous. We had a wide receiver put up huge numbers as a true freshman. He looks to continue doing that this year. Very excited to see what Xavier Worthy can do. But on top of that, we had quarterbacks put up big numbers as well, even though we didn't have an offensive line that was able to give them the adequate time. What that shows you is that you're going to have offensive success here. Now, this is where this pitch is going to be very interesting because there are so many other top players that would like to play with Arch Manning and have expressed an interest in it. Whenever Arch Manning commits to whichever institution he goes to, I think we're going to see a little bit of an avalanche occur where it's going to snowball. Other players are going to start committing, and for whichever team gets him, it's going to be an incredibly positive spark. But the Texas Longhorns not only have the offensive prowess they can claim, they can claim Steve Sarkeesian and the numbers he's put together with quarterbacks, but they can also point to the pending move to the SEC, telling Arch, hey, you're going to be playing in prime time. As prime time as it gets in the SEC, what a better way to do that with a system that we think you can have immense success in. They're also going to be pitching what a great college town Austin is. And look, they're not the only one that's going to be pitching that, but it is going to be something worth noting. So this is going to be a situation we have to watch for not only the nation's number one prospect, the nation's number one quarterback, but for that prospect and quarterback to carry the last name Manning adds a certain level of intrigue to the battle as a whole. A level of intrigue we have got to watch closely. Because even though this is still three teams in this race that many believe are really likely to land Arch, one of those teams just got a quarterback. And personally, I feel like that changes the dynamic greatly. And now the two teams that we need to really watch are Georgia and the Texas Longhorns. But it is worth noting, Arch is still planning on taking that visit to Alabama. And at the end of the day, this is the Alabama Crimson Tide, so it's not going to be on me to say it's impossible, just improbable. Hop down to the comments, let me know what you're thinking about this entire situation. That's it. See ya.